so uh, four hours of radiobiology as we know it is repair reoxygenation redistribution and repopulation uh, we'll try to learn about each of them so first with repair so what does repair mean so we know that uh, when we give um, radiation no uh, so if this is our tumor cells this is our tumor uh, if we give if we're trying to give radiation apart from tumor cells whichever normal cells which are there they also get sparse radiation sparsely uh, radiation feed they will also experience some of the radiation so uh, these will undergo some sublethal damage they will have sublethal um, injury okay so uh, the basis over here is like um, they will require some time to get repaired that time is usually 3 to 24 hours post radiation so 3 to 4 hours post radiation they will under they will repair themselves so they will become normal cells itself okay so then you can give another dose of another fraction of uh, radiation so then you can give another fraction of radiation so the concept of repair over here is <clears throat> so that the cells that receives past radiation exp uh, experience uh, uh, they will experience a uh, sublethal injury that can be repaired and the most of the tissues no they will repair about three hours up to 24 hours post radiation so this will allow the injured normal cells and gives the potential therapeutic advantage over the tumor cells okay so this damage repair will increase the cell survival after the fractionated radiations so that's the concept of uh, repair next next is reoxygenation So uh, reoxygenation. Uh, we know that um, when a tumor, see if a tumor, uh, a tumor has its toxic component because it, it's receiving blood supply from uh, the blood vessels. It has its own toxic components, which are sensitive to radiation, and there will be hypoxy component, which are kind of resistant to radiation because they are far away from the blood vessels. They are receiving uh, a lesser blood supply and because of temporary vessel constriction and uh, there is outgrowth of blood supply or capillary dam capillary collapse because of all that there will be an hypoxic component hypoxic tumors or hypoxic component will be resistant to radiation okay so um, uh, so uh, the concept of fractionation over here is also see because of the fractionated dose received all the oxic cells will get killed okay now only the hypoxic component will re be remaining so now hypoxic component um, um, again the they will get uh, oxygenated this is the concept of reoxygenated now the uh, cells which are remaining the hypoxic cells they'll get reoxygenated by the blood vessels coming uh, by the blood vessels um, and they will also have uh, the hypoxic component which does not receive so these now after oxygenation will become oxic cells right so uh, they will get uh, killed by another fraction of uh, fractionation of dose of radiation okay uh, so now all these oxic cells are getting killed now again the hypoxic component will remain so another fraction when you give uh, these uh, hypoxic cells uh, which are near the blood vessels they will again get oxygenated another fraction of radiation those will get killed and only the another hypoxic component will be uh, left out so this is the concept of reoxygenation these are the oxic cells these are the hypoxic cells and this is a fractionated radiation okay so this will be the concept of reoxygenation um so hypoxic cells we know that are radio resistant and um, um hypoxic fraction will increase with the treatment so here the hypoxic fraction was less okay so 
there there was more hypoxic fraction with the fraction of radiation those will keep on decreasing okay so next coming to next coming to redistribution so uh, we know that cell cycle right uh, cell cycle has um, you know so uh, g1 s g2 and m phase and this g1 will go and come from the g0 phase for normal cells okay we know that g2 and m phase or radio sensitive cycle sensitive uh, uh, part of the cell cycle and s and g0 all of these are radio resistant ones okay so uh, see what happens is when when uh, see uh, the concept of uh, fractionation also comes over here because uh, uh, what happens if you give a lot of radiation uh, with the treatment intent at one time only the cell uh, most of the cells can be in radio resistant uh, cell cycle so um, here is where the concept of redistribution comes so if you give fractionated doses so whichever are in the radio sensitive uh, uh, cell cycle they will get killed okay radio resistant uh, cell cycle who were whichever cells are in radio resistant they will be remaining so uh, the concept of fractionation again like those radio resistant cell cycles when you give time for another fractions those that those will come into radio res uh, sensitive cell cycle from radio resistant so the change redistribution the redistribution from the radio resistant to the radio sensitive cell cycle so the cells will redistribute themselves then they will obviously become uh, radio, radio sensitive then the uh, another dose fractionation will kill them so that is the concept of radio, redistribution okay now uh, coming to the next one that is repopulation so uh, repopulation um see when uh, we know that when you give um, um, radiation fraction the new uh, the tumor normal cells will be there these normal cells will receive radiation that repair concept we know right if we uh, give a little bit of more time they will regenerate themselves so regenerate and the normal cells will you know proliferate okay so the surviving fraction these are the surviving fractions so they will proliferate more okay so but what also happens is the tumor cells if we give a lot of time if we give a lot if the tum tumor duration of the treatment is more uh, even the tumor cells can you know uh, can recover from the acute radiation reactions so that that is uh, one of the points so repopulation what does repopulation help us in it will help the net effect of making the tumor seem more resistant and it is a way of a normal cells to recover from the acute radiation reactions okay so that is it so the so basis of fractionation over here is repair um, how does repair and uh, uh, repopulation help repair and repopulation they will spare the normal tissues spares the normal tissues okay that's the basis dividing the dose so by the basis of fractionation by dividing the dose what you are doing is sparing the normal tissue with the help of repair and repopulation now with the help of reoxygenation and redistribution what is happening it is increasing the damage to the tumor cells to tumor cells okay so this way by this is the basis of fractionation also so by dividing by fr fractionation um, by dividing the dose you are sparing the normal tissues with the help of repair and repopulation and you are increasing the damage to, to tumor cells with the help of uh, redistribute reoxygenation and redistribution so uh, prolongation of the uh, like fractionation if you prolong the treatment that that is also uh, what advantage over here is it will reduce the early reaction to the uh, normal cells okay and also excessive if you excessively prolong it it will allow the surviving tumor cells the tumor cells will survive more and they will proliferate so you kind of have to balance all of those okay so 